Hey guys, Michelle Emma here from Pilates with me and welcome back to yet another full body Pilates class. No equipment is needed for this class. So when you guys are ready, let's begin. Starting lying flat on your back on your mat. We're going to get into a few little shoulder warm ups. So I want you guys to get into a beautiful imprint, reach those arms up towards the ceiling, lock the shoulders down, and you're just going to start with big arm circles. We inhale, take those arms back, keep the ribs in as you exhale to circle it back to center. Inhale, reach it back and exhale, circle. Two more. We're going to focus on flow and breathing and lengthening in this class. And then we're going to change direction of the circle. So inhale down, exhale, circle around and up. Exhale. Two more. This is going to feel really good if you've been sitting at a desk all day. And then return to center. You're going to turn the palms of your hands forward and we're going to bring those elbows down in line with the shoulders. Maybe you need to tuck your shoulder blades in a bit. Keep your imprint. Take a deep breath in and on the exhale, aim to get the back of the hands down. You might not touch. If you're not touching, that's okay as long as you're feeling a beautiful stretch in that pec and maybe in the shoulders and in the neck. You're going to inhale to center, exhale, push it down. Just take note of what it does to those shoulder blades, how it externally rotates them, opening up the chest. We exhale, open, inhale, release. Two more. Exhale, open, inhale, release. Last one, release. Take the back of the hands down and hold that little cactus arm position. We're now going to keep an imprint. Bring the feet together, knees together. And then just drop the legs over to the right. And as you do that, you're going to look all the way to the left elbow. We're going to inhale, lift it through the center. Exhale, drop the legs to the left and look towards that right elbow. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale, getting your body ready for the movements that are to come. You're going to take it all the way to the right side. This time we're going to hold it there. Move the knees a little higher and use your right hand to pull the knees down. Try to keep that left elbow, left shoulder down. Look to the left elbow and take a deep breath in. Swap it over to the other side, take the legs to the left, lift them a little higher, pull using that left hand and push that right elbow, right shoulder to the mat. Just calm the body. And then you're going to bring it all the way back to center. We're going to lift those legs to tabletop, keep your imprint, and then you're going to reach those arms all the way up to the ceiling. So pointing your toes, knees together, we're doing opposite arm, opposite leg. You're going to inhale, reach the arm back, tap the foot down, exhale, bring it up. We alternating sides and bring it up. Try keep an imprint. <sighs> Try flow. Try elongate that spine. Reach those arms away, stretching the shoulders. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Let's just go for another two. And last one. Hold it in the center. You're going to take those arms out to the side, 180 degrees. Keep your imprint, breathe in. We exhale, drop the legs slightly to the left. And once you're in that position, you're going to extend those legs. You're going to bend them in, bring them back to the center. Keep your imprint. Take it to the right and extend. We bring it in, bring it through center. Take it to the left. 
Extend. Keep that right shoulder flat. Keep breathing. Don't hold the breath. Keep that oxygen flowing. Two more. We reach. We bend. Bring it to center. Last one. Reach. Bend. Bring it to the center and hold. You're now going to gently extend those legs to the ceiling, flexing your feet. You're going to take those hands behind the head and lift the chest to a chest crunch. Let's inhale, lower the right leg down. Exhale, lift it up. Inhale, lower the left leg down. Exhale, lift it up. It doesn't matter if your knees are dead straight or not. I want you to make sure that your tummy is super tight and you are protecting that lower back. And also a little trick, if you lower those legs a little bit more, you will be able to straighten those knees. So don't think just because my legs are at 90 degrees, you're doing it wrong. I'm just going to where I can handle. Yours might be less, yours might be more. One more. And then hold both of your legs up, feet together, and pulse the chest up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold, and release. Quickly hug the legs in. We're going to return to that exact same position. So legs straight up, feet flexed, hands behind the head. Now, this time, as you lower that right leg, you're going to twist to the left leg. You bring it to the middle, and then you swap. Keep those elbows open. Exhale to twist. Inhale through the middle. Twist five. Six. Thighs are working. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, we're going to return to the middle and again pulse the chest up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold and release. Hike the legs in. Woo, warming up those abs. You're now going to grab the back of the legs, rock it up, spin around onto a side, any side. You're going to take those legs slightly back. So you're kind of in a straight line, but it doesn't have to be dead straight. Bottom elbow in line with the shoulder, top hand in line with the hip. You're going to breathe in, and on your exhale, lift into a side plank and reach that top arm up. We inhale to lower, and you exhale to lift. So those tummy muscles should be firing by now. Should feel nice and warm down there. We're going to go for another six, five, lock that shoulder, four, three, two, one. Let's hold it in your side plank. And of course, we're going to extend that top leg out, flex the foot. You're going to just lower that top leg and lift it. One. Keep the foot parallel to the floor. Two. Brace your core. Three. Four. If your neck is hurting, then just gaze down at the elbow. We're going to go for another four. Keep breathing, guys. You've got this. Two more. And hold. Now little circles with that top leg. We're going to go five, four, three, two, one. You're going to change direction for five, four, three, two, one. Hold the leg up. Pulse your leg up for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold. And gently return to start position. Woo! You guys thought that that was going to be an easy side flank in the beginning. Obviously, we're going to build onto it. So let's swap it over to the other side. Take those knees slightly back. Engage your core. Top hand extends over the top hip. We just exhale to lift it up. And we inhale to lower down. Remember, we're flowing. 
we elongating and we stabilizing. Five more. Five. Try to push those hips forward. Four. Get that bottom shoulder ready. Three. Two. And one. Hold it up. Extend that top leg balance. We're going to lower the top leg and lift one. You're going to lower and lift two. Brace the core. Three. Four. Push into that bottom elbow. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Hold. Circle the top leg for five, four, three, two, one. Change direction for five, four, three, two, one. You're going to hold it up. Pulse the leg up for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold and then gently return. Back to center. Whew, well done, guys. Lift it up. Let's change the position. Let's come on to your hands and knees to start off with. Getting it into a nice squared off position. And then I want you just to take your elbows to the floor, but don't let your hands touch. You want to keep them open, shifting forward, locking shoulders. You're going to bring your knees in a bit closer together to make this more comfortable. And then just extend your left leg back. You're going to point the toes, pull the tummy in, and we're just going to lift the leg up on your exhale and inhale to lower. So you're going to exhale, lift two. Deep breath, three. Four. Try to keep your hips nice and level here. Five, pushing evenly through those hands. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hold it up. You're going to go into your happy rainbow. So just take it to the side and then swing it over, take it to the other side. So now with these ones, your hips are obviously going to go off center, which is fine. Three. <sighs> That bent leg is going to be working hard to stabilize your body. Lock your shoulders. Elongate that spine. Let's go for three. Two, really lifting it over an imaginary cone. And one. We're going to bring that leg in line with the hip. You're going to pulse it up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold. Flex the foot, place it down and step it into a forearm plank. Just hold, engage. Feel the strength in your elbows, shoulders, tummy, thighs. 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one. Drop your hips. <sighs> Point those toes. Go into Cobra, stretch it out. <sighs> You're going to walk your knees forward again. Get those elbows squared off, knees together. Of course, we've got the other side to do. So other leg is going to reach out now. Lock the shoulders and we're going to start with a simple lift and lower. Exhale, two, and lower. Exhale, three. Deep breath, four, five. You have control over your body. Six, hips are level. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hold it up. Go into your happy rainbow. So you're going to tap it across and slightly open. Tap it across, slightly open. 
Now you're stabilizing in the other leg, locking your shoulders. Pull tummy a little bit tighter. We can always pull it that much tighter. Let's go for four. Three. Two, don't let it get lower. One. Bring it to center and hold. Pulse that leg up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold. And then place the toes down. Step it into your plank. Lock your shoulders. Brace your core. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release it. You're going to bring the knees in. Don't come out of this position, but you can bring your hands together now. You're going to lock your shoulders down. Take your left hand behind your left ear and just open it up. Stretch the shoulders. I know they're tired. And then you're going to tap it down for one. You open it up. For two, open it up. Three. Four, five, one last one, six. Hold it up, really get a stretch here. Push, 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 breathe in and gently bring it down. Swapping over those hands. So take the right hand behind the right ear. You're going to exhale to open. One, drop it down, exhale to open. Two, deep breaths. Four, five, six, and hold. Lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. Breathe in and release it and relax it down. You're going to separate those hands again. We're going to exhale around the back into a nice little cat stretch. And inhale, extend, lift your chin. You're going to exhale to round. I know those shoulders are very warm right now. Two more. You round. Really scooping that tummy in, squeezing your bum. Last one. Round it. And bring it back to center. Whew. Lift it up. Shake it out. That was so good, guys. You should feel like you've had a nice upper body workout. Scooch the bum forward. Legs come forward. Okay, so the best way to position yourself is to open the legs the width of your mat, okay? If you don't have a mat, then it's probably slightly wider than your hips, but you have to feel comfortable here. So toes pull back, lengthen the spine like you're sitting up against a wall, and then you're going to take those arms to a 90-degree angle. Okay, elbows in line with shoulders. You're going to exhale, twist to one side twice, so you bounce it, you go one, Two, bring it to the middle, and then we swap it over. We go one, two, bring it to the middle, swap it over. One, two, and again, one, two, twist, one, two. When you're twisting, feel your tummy decompressing. It's getting tighter. You're letting all that air out. You're working your shoulders. And last one, one, two. Bring it to the center, take the hands behind the head. You're gonna scoop and you're gonna roll yourself halfway down, lifting your chin. Now really get that nice little spoon with your tummy. You're gonna inhale, on your exhale, we're gonna twist to the right knee, Inhale to center, and then we swap it over, twist. Inhale to center, and swap. And swap. <sighs> Scoop the tummy, open up those elbows. <sighs> we twist, we release. We twist, we release. Twist, can we go a little bit more? Let's go for another four. 
three, two, and last one. One, you're gonna bring it to the center, scoop, 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 pulse the chest up and down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, reach it all the way down, Woo, lay down on the back, stretch it out. So good, guys. That was such an awesome tummy workout. So let's do more. You're going to now imprint. It's a little sequence. We've got two different tummy workouts, tummy exercises, and we're going to do it twice. So get into an imprint, legs to tabletop, hands behind the head, lift your chest. Now we're going to think about this. I want you all to twist to your right knee and extend your left. Blow out. You bring it to the middle and you swap it over. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Nine, last one, you should finish on your left side and hold. Now pulse it to the left leg for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it, bring it to the middle first, and then relax it down. Whew. Take your hands next to your body, keep your imprint, legs to tabletop. You're now going to extend your legs at an angle. Try not let your lower back pop. The lower you go, the harder this is. We're going to crisscross those ankles for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Do it again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, bring your feet together, breathe in, and release it, hug it in. <sighs> awesome, so we need to do that again. Remember, we started on the right leg, so now you're going to start on your left leg. Legs to tabletop, get your imprint, lift your chest. You're going to exhale, twist to the left knee, stretch the right out, one, inhale, middle, exhale, Swap it over. And three, elbows wide. Four, open the chest to the sky. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. You should finish on the right side. Ten and hold. Now pulse it to that leg for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, hold. Bring it to the center first and then gently relax it down. Hands go next to you. Keep your imprint, legs to tabletop. One more crisscross. You're going to reach it out at an angle. Go lower if you want to make it harder and let's cross the ankles. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Scoop that tummy in. Five, four, Three, two, one, again, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold the feet together, breathe in, and relax it. Pull the knees to armpits. Rock yourselves up, and let's spin around onto the hands and the knees. Okay, this is going to be a little bit of a wrist workout. So if you do struggle with your wrists, maybe just create a little bit of elevation or try it on your fists. We're going to start on the hands and the knees, making a beautiful little square. You're going to lock the shoulders and take the right leg back and the left hand forward. Brace your core, neutralize the spine. Let's exhale to lift the arm and leg up, inhale to lower. We exhale, lift for two, inhale, lower, lift three, 
Four, imagine someone's pulling the head out of the shoulders. You reaching. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Hold it up. You're going to do two different movements here. Take that left elbow to right knee. Round your back. Then reach it forward and slightly open the arm and leg. Bring it to center. We do it again. You pull in. You reach forward and open. You pull in. Reach forward and open. Pull in. Reach it forward and open. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Open and close. Four more. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Open and close. Check your hips. Check your tummy. Two. One. Open, close and hold. Now pulse that arm and leg up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold. And gently bring it back to center. Swap it over. So now your right hand goes forward and your left leg goes back. Lock the shoulders and we exhale to lift. One. Exhale to lift. Two. Three. Get the rib cage connected. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, two more, nine, ten, hold it up. You pull right elbow to left knee, you extend, open, close, repeat. We bend, reach, out, in. Three, and open, reach it out, and close, open, and close. Four more. Try keep your alignment. Keep your posture. Two. And one. Open, close and hold. Pulse it up and down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold. And gently release it down. Shake out the wrist quick sticks. We're going to go into a little bit of a challenging one now. So walking it forward, you're just going to do it with me. The first two are going to be practice rounds. So you're going to tuck the toes under, pull the belly button to spine, lift the knees off the floor. You're going to rotate to one side and take opposite hand to opposite knee. Give it a tap and then you're going to bring it back to a squared off position. And then you change it over to the other side. Okay, so those don't count, those were practice. So now let's go and let's count. One. Two. It's always important to return back to that beautiful table back, nice 90 degree legs, shifting your weight over shoulders into wrists. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now just hold for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release it, come down. Shake it out. We're going to now. Come into a plank just so that you can slowly come down onto your tummy. Now spread the legs a little bit wider than your hips. We're going to take the left hand on top of the right hand. Then relax your head to the floor. On your exhale, you're going to lift that left hand, left elbow, head and right leg. So you're going to exhale, lift it up, pushing slightly into the right arm and inhale to lower down. Again, same side, you exhale, lift. 
and you inhale lower. Exhale, lift. Squeeze that pubic bone to the mat. Squeeze your bum. Four. Reach through the crown of the head. Five. Six. Seven. Check in with your tummy. Eight. Nine. Ten. Hold it up. Pulse everything upwards for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold, and rest it down. Swap it so that the right hand goes on top of the left hand. We're going to change sides now. So remember, it's right elbow, left leg. You're going to exhale to lift. Pushing into that left elbow. Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift two. Inhale to lower. Reach those toes away from you. Three. Lower. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, long exhale, nine, ten, hold it up, pulse it up for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold, and relax it all the way back down. You're now going to lift both hands and legs up. So we're going to exhale, lift it up, lock the shoulders, and hold. Kick the legs for 20 seconds, freestyle kick. Squeeze the tummy, lock your shoulders, and breathe. 15 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, hold. You're going to pull those elbows just in line with the shoulders and pulse your arms up for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold it. Bring the hands under the head and relax it and release it down. Take your thumbs to nipples, push it back, shell stretch and have a breather. Careful of that lower back. You want to round it, scoop the tummy in, stretch it out, and relax. You're going to roll it all the way up. Scooch it forward, come onto those hands and knees, tuck your toes, push it to your downward dog, stretch. Sit bones to sky, heels to floor, chest to toes, pedal those legs. Then straighten both of those legs and walk those hands to your feet where you're going to roll your spine up, scooping the tummy in and stand up beautifully tall for our leg workouts. So coming forward, let's start with the hands at heart center and we're just going to balance on the left leg and glide your right leg to a tabletop position. You're going to step the right leg back, go into a lunge. Then bring it forward and balance. And then you step it into a curtsy lunge and bring it forward and balance. So that's one. Let's go for nine more. Forward. Forward. That's two. Try and shift backwards on your lunge. You don't want to rely on your front leg the whole time. Curtsy. We've got six more. Take it back. Take it to the side. Five more. Take it back. Keep breathing. Take it to the side. Four. To the side. 
the knee is so close to touching the floor, but it actually doesn't touch the floor. Two more. One last one. Curtsy lunge and hold it up. Now go into your back lunge. Hold, shift your weight back, and let's just pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7. Relax these shoulders. 5, 4, 3, 2, hold. Bring it forward, balance. Take it to your curtsy and pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold. Bring it to balance and release it down. <sighs> Control is key. We're going to swap it over. I'm getting out of breath here. Okay, other leg. So we're going to ground that right leg, lift the left leg. Hands at heart center, take a deep breath in. Whew. Step it back into a lunge and then bring it forward. Take it to a curtsy. And bring it forward. One. Deep breaths. And that's two. The trick is to always just find something to stare at. Try not move the head too much. We've got six more. Five more. Stay in control of your body. Four. Three. Two. We've got one last one. Then hold. Step it into your back lunge and we just pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold. Control it forward. Step it into your curtsy and pulse. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Hold, bring it back to the center, balance, breathe in, and let go. Well done, guys, shake it out. Whew. Go to the front of your mat, let's cool you down. Toes forward, relax the shoulders, roll that spine down. Feel that heart beating through the chest. You're going to bend both of your knees. We're going to take the right leg back into a high lunge. Open up the chest. Take that right hand down. Lift that left arm up. Hold. Bring that left hand down. Where you're going to place your hands flat. Take that left leg in and slide it into your pigeon pose. Rest your head and your hands. Slow the breathing down. Then you're going to walk it all the way back up. You are now going to step that left foot forward again into your high lunge. You're going to step that right foot forward, bend your knees, roll up like a beautiful sunflower blooming. Open up the shoulders, straighten the legs. We roll down. You're going to bend your knees. Now this time take that left leg back into a high lunge. Open the chest. Left hand goes flat, right arm comes up. <sighs> Bring it 
bring it to center and then place the hands flat as you bring the right leg in and lay into your pigeon rest the forehead down Well done on completing this class. Be grateful for your body. You're going to walk those hands up. You're going to push it up. Kick that right foot forward into that high lunge again. Open up the chest. Then step that left leg forward. Bend your knees and fold. Take one last deep breath in and then roll your spine up, stacking your vertebra one at a time. You open up the chest and you straighten the legs last, lengthen yourself and relax the shoulders. Well, well done guys, that was awesome. I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I did and I shall see you next time. Bye.